So I've always liked the older things and I love 22s. And uh, I just picked up this. This is a high standard uh, Supermatic Citation. And i um, really excited about it. I've always wanted kind of an older Target 22. And so I just picked this up this morning and just gonna run some rounds through it and see how she does. So I'm excited, hopefully it goes well. Twenty-twos prefer or need, I guess, uh, standard velocity. So just a few different types. This first type here, I'm going to shoot five rounds of CCI standard velocity and see how she does. Next up, we have some standard velocity. This is Federal um, Premium Gold Medal Match. Let's see how it does. Last up is some standard velocity blazer. Uh, and I believe this is actually manufactured by CCI. So let's see how she does. So just for comparison, this is my favorite uh, 22 pistol at the moment. It's a Ruger 2245, and uh, I like it a lot. Uh, but I have done a lot of work with this pistol, and so trigger, hammer, bushings, of course grips. Um, not that it really helps that much with shooting, but recoil, I guess, a little bit to keep your muzzle rise down for quick target shooting. I got this um, muzzle uh, brake, for lack of a better word, and then charging handle here. Tan mix of tandem cross and the quartz and parts. I, I actually have more money in the aftermarket parts in this pistol than the pistol itself. And again, this is a Ruger uh, 2245, and it's a Mark III. So, comparing it now after we've shot for the first time, this uh, beautiful um, high standard Supermatic Citation. It's got a long barrel. I've got a short one uh, as well that came with it. What do I think? Man, um, it's a heavy pistol. Comparison to modern day, you know, uh, pistols like this, um, this high standard is substantially heavier and uh, you know it when you pick it up. Still, there's no <laughs> aluminum parts. I, I doubt anyway there's any aluminum parts. I assume this is all good uh, American steel, and it's heavy. Um, it obviously groups very well. Uh, what I like most about it is this trigger. Oh my goodness, so good, clean break, very light. Um, again, I've spent a lot of money in that trigger, and it's not bad, but this standard, trigger that is in this high standard is incredible um, probably one of the best features that i like so far about the gun cycles very smooth everything feels very tight everything feels very smooth it's back when firearms all the metal parts were highly polished before they were ever blued and so there's no grittiness there's no um, rough edges when this slide it's just perfectly smooth there's um, it's just perfection in a lot of ways and again this is my first introduction into old uh, 22s and um, I hope it is I have more in the future I'd like to have a high standard Victor which is another model and uh, 
I would, wouldn't mind having a Smith & Wesson Model 41. And for, I know they still make the 41, but I prefer one of the older ones, but man, those are pricey. This was not cheap either. Uh, this is not a two, $300 gun, um, but I, I am super excited about this. Can't wait to shoot it some more. So my thoughts on the high standard Supermatic Citation. If I could give two thumbs up, there's my other thumbs, two thumbs up. I love it. Can't wait to shoot it more. And so hope to make some more videos about it.